Coach, your first impressions? Well, it was a tough loss for the Spartans. Uh, I think uh, we started off slowly. Uh, both halves mirrored each other. The first quarter and the third quarter we started off slowly, and uh, it was tough to, uh, to uh, get out of that rut that we were in. Um, they, they pounced on us. They, they made some nice touchdown runs, and we... Uh, you know, failed to uh, go down the score. So it was a tough one. I think, uh, you know, that, that all said, I was proud of the guys for competing. I think that we didn't quit, we didn't give up, we, we kept battling. And, uh, you know, in the fourth quarter it was evident that the guys kept fighting. So, um, you know, we had 21 points to, to their seven in the fourth quarter and had the ball twice to, uh, with an opportunity to tie up the game. And uh, unfortunately we failed. And, and then they got the ball and they got touchdown to go up 14 and even then we didn't fail we came back down and scored another touchdown so um, some good things were done uh, some more Ziegler uh, had a good game it was tough losing him he's a young promising star in our program a freshman he had uh, nine carries for 90 something yards and uh, he's a good player it was great to get Kenny Potter back he uh, is a uh, just a, a very valiant effort on his part of competing and um, so uh, you know, all in all, I think our defense uh, came around and did a good job of stopping our opponent, but it, it uh, did take some time to get to that point, and we had that as a concern. They're a fast starting team, as we knew, and um, uh, by the time we got up to that, that game speed, uh, you know, we had dug a little bit of a hole. So I think uh, we had caught up to their speed uh, and were playing very well, particularly in the late third quarter and throughout the fourth quarter. Uh, so hats off to the defense. It just, uh, you know, it was just a little too late uh, to, to win a football game against a good football team. So with that, let's open it up to questions. Um, their, their rushing offense just kind of keeps on grinding at you. Right? right. I know you knew that coming in. Right. What type of adjustments did you try and make this game? Yeah, we, what it was was we just had to, guys fall in the trap. It's a, uh, we call it a, you know, it's, it's one of those uh, shell games. Keep movement, right? And you gotta, you gotta be disciplined to your gap. And a couple times, guys, guys got out of their gap early, and that's where the ball popped out for a big gain. And so, I, I liked what we were doing. We stuck with it, and it's just guys got used to the pace of it. We tried to simulate it in practice as best we could with good players, but you know it is tough. It is a challenge to simulate, and that's why they run that offense. It's hard for a team to get ready in five days, six days, and and whatnot, but um, I thought we came around, but it was it was too late. Um, Potter's availability, I guess, was something of a question mark throughout the week. When did you realize he was going to be ready to go? Uh, Midweek, when he went in there uh, Wednesday and took reps with the first team, I felt like Kenny will be good to go. And then let's just see how he is third, how the swelling is after Wednesday's practice, and go out on Thursday. And Kenny came out Thursday and practiced pretty good, so. Uh, we knew Thursday that, hey, let's go with him. Let's give it a shot. We thought he did a pretty good, pretty good job. Pretty gutty performance. He did. Really gutty performance. Uh, you know, the, the, the one thing that really set us back, the, they, uh, they dropped it right into coverage and the pick six was, was really a tough one to, a tough pill to swallow because, um, you know, that, that was a swing, a swing of points. And uh, that was tough. But nevertheless, we, we did find a way to dig out and we're, we're playing to tie the game up with uh, five minutes left. Can you uh, talk about the uh, onside kick attempt, what you saw, how that, how that uh, worked? I thought it was a pretty darn good kick. I think if we had just timed it up perfectly on the sideline to get it at the highest point, I think we caved in a little bit. If, if we had uh, been able to stay on the sideline and been able to go up and get it, and it was pretty high, we might have had a chance to come down with it. But I thought Bryson did a good job kicking that. The double bounce and the double bounce bounce and the high hop, that's what you want every time, and Bryson did a good job kicking it. You had four consecutive defensive stops there in the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Our guys did uh, really played good defensive football in the fourth quarter. And uh, I, I was proud of them. Again, they kept competing, they kept battling. And uh, all in all, I was very proud of those guys. Uh, you know, and, and they gave the offense back the ball twice with a chance to go in for the, the tying touchdown. And you know, we just, we just couldn't, we were three or three and out both times, unfortunately. And uh, we had our chances. The mix of the cutoff to a fast start, and you guys were in a hole. Uh, how did you guys regroup the first time? Um, well, I think we all knew that it was still early in the game, you know, and we had a lot of game left, um, and we just kind of wanted to 
just bounce back, recover from our kind of slow start. And I think we did that well. Your uh, first touchdown play, the long reception, what happened there? Um, well, um, I just uh, just tried to run as fast as I could, honestly. Um, you know, uh, that play, I, I guess, is designed for me to go you know, to the middle of the field and pretty much you know, have Kenny throw it as far as he could. So um, it kind of worked, and I ran past the last defender, and you know, it ended up being a, a great play for us. The second touchdown looked like uh, you, had a, you battled your way in, and it was a uh, run that, uh, I mean, other guys on the team have run that play, but you, you were running it today. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, on that play, Shane Smith made a great block. Um, his block really sprung me and got me the extra yards and allowed me to, you know, kind of maneuver in space. So we, we had a great block, and it was a great play call at the time. Getting, uh, getting Kenny back out there, how important was that uh, for your offense? I think that's really important because, I mean, he's one of our offense captains. Um, he brings a lot of, you know, emotional support to our offense, and, you know, he rallies the troops. So, um, you know, he, he really kind of got injured a couple weeks ago. It was good to see him, you know, battle through the injury, play through it, and I think it kind of motivated us to play harder. Um, so it was good seeing him back. What was the... Uh Resolve for you guys in the fourth quarter. I mean, you're down plenty and could have gone completely differently. Could you guys battle back? Um, well, I think we, we just still saw that there was a lot of time left. Um, we had the ball kind of early in the fourth, and I think we were down like 21 points. Um, and you know, if we you know, make, this, make a quick score here, quick score there, defense gets a stop. Um, and, you know, as we saw things kind of unfolding, it just kind of gave us more hope, you know, to battle all the way to the end. So um, that was, I think that was good for us and the way we competed, you know, down to the final stretch. And it's definitely something, you know, that we can look forward to in games to come. So. Mark, uh, just your first impression on what, what happened today. Uh, you know, playing these kind of offenses, it takes a, it takes a while to get – to get used to the movements, different shifts and everything. And uh, the first half, it wasn't reflective of how well we uh, prepared for it you know, in practice. But uh, second half, we got it down. The guys were staying in their gaps. See, with this offense, you really have to stay in your gap because if you don't stay in your gap, you squirt out and score like they did in the first half. So that was a big key that we, we changed in, uh, at halftime. Particularly the second half, you got it well, the fourth quarter. Came up with four consecutive stops. One of them was the reception by Maurice McKnight. Mm -hmm. uh, what was going on defensively at that point uh, that allowed you guys to be successful? To be honest, we were just we we're having fun. You know, we, were, we weren't thinking so much. We were just going out there and just flying around. And uh, Coach Ingus always preaches that. You know, just once you're on that, you know, where you can't think, you're going to play your best. And that's exactly what we did second half. Um. Playing against a team that you know is just going to keep grinding away, you know, how tough is that for you guys? Because you know they're just going to keep coming after you. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think it's, it's not tough. As, uh, it's not tough at all for us because uh, our coaches, throughout the you know fall camp and spring ball, they've been building, uh, they've been preaching character, character, character. You know, when it gets hard, that's when you get tough. So you know, we just kept grinding away, grinding away. And we have the we have the mental uh, fortitude to. Hold up against that. It just wasn't enough. For me. Okay, great. Uh, describe the process that got you ready for to play this week. Um, well, the trainers and Sash, Laura, Coach uh, Yuri Van Nicolini, they do a great job uh, staying after hours and and giving everybody who's injured a, an opportunity to get healthy and and, and uh, get whatever's injured or hurt better. And and I just went in. And, did everything I could and went to them because they know what they're talking about and uh, they did. They got me ready, so I just came out and, and tried to play with my brothers. And then, uh, okay, you guys are down 14 to nothing and nothing flat. Uh, what was the resolve of the offense to get the team back, to get the team back in the game? Yeah, we it's we always look at it one one drive at a time. We can't look past 14-0. We can't say oh we we can't score 14 points in one drive. So we know that. Um, we take care of business. We, we trusted the defense that was going to get a stop, so we uh, got a quick score, and um, it, it helped us out. Uh, Zamor 
broke on a big run and, and kind of changed the momentum of the game and got us back in it. Um, uh, you got you guys got down again and then battled almost all the way back. Uh, can you talk about the uh, fourth quarter uh, attempted comeback? Yeah, it's the result's very disappointing and. It, Coming so close, we our guys fought and, and fought. Our O line fought their butts off. Our receivers blocked. Our tight ends made plays. Our receivers made plays. Everybody did their job, and, and we just came up a little short. And um, our defense came up with two huge stops with I think eight minutes left and five minutes left. And unfortunately, we couldn't come come down and score. And, and I put that on myself. I, I have to I have to make better plays. I have to do something in my favor after they make two great stops for us. And, and um, unfortunately, we couldn't get down there and score on those two drives. We scored with, what, 35 seconds left and tried an onside kick. But we can't we can't put that, um, we can't put the, our destiny in, in our onside kick, our special teams. We have to give our defense enough time to give, get a stop. And, and they did it for us. And, and we scored too late. And that was the end of it.